okay. and they're local. They're a local organization, so they also provide information. They also provide services, but of course, they're not a national organization, so they're very limited. It's like, well, it's a local organization. Why aren't they helping? Well, because their funds do run out. Cancer is very expensive. You know, the average cancer patient, and, and you know, she may have seen it, and even with insurances, you know, you're averaging about close to a hundred thousand dollars minimum to treat someone with cancer. I right. believe it. Minimum. No, yeah, I believe it. And and Shorty, have you ever thought of doing something like that for for that Rio Grande and helping them get well, funds? This is like now this is the first time I hear of this. And earlier, like you mentioned, hotels as well. Yes. Is that also <coughs> here in, yes. in El Paso? And which ones are the hotels that they provide? So we also own our own hotels. Wow. wow. Okay. And it's called Hope Lodge. We Hope don't Lodge. have one here because our treatment in El Paso is a little bit less, more limited. But we do see some where those services are in partnership with Extended Stay America. And so that's how we provide the hotels because we don't have one locally here. Uh-huh. In, the, in Texas, we have one in Lubbock. We have one in Dallas. We have one in Houston. And where's the biggest cancer treatment center that everybody goes in to? Houston. It's Houston. Yeah. So they yeah. get to stay there for free. You know, they get to, it can be a day, it can be three days, it can be three weeks. Yes. You know, they so, help my, my dad with that. Yes. MD so, it, yes. And so, and that's how we support, you know, because even though you do get impacted locally, a lot of the times the local services can help for local, but cannot help for patients going out. You know, so with, they might not be able to be like here. I can say, well, I have a patient that needs to go to Houston. I have we have staff in Houston and we have the Hope Lodge and we also have transportation there. And we have all this. So our programs are nationwide. So the That's patient awesome. gets diagnosed here. They got to go to Dallas. They got to go to California. They got we have it all mm. all over the nation. So it's not just limited, but, but local services, you know, obviously take a higher impact, especially in El Paso because higher in uninsured population. Wow. Wow. And you know, earlier you were mentioning about the mobile, the mobile truck. Yeah. For next year is event, is there a possibility of oh, us yeah. having it there? Yes, and, for sure. And it would just, the screenings would be just for women or, or how does that? So it's a mammal van. It would be for women. But if there is a, a man that is, you know, feels that they need to get screened based on their history or, you know, things like that, then of course that could be a discussion because you don't want to deny, you know, yes. screening, you know, at the end of the day. But that would be something that we can, I, Desert Imaging used to have their mammal van. They no longer have it in El Paso anymore. But we, we, I brought the mammal van to one of our, actually it was a Clinica La Fe. It's an FQHC in oh, El Paso. Uh-huh. And so they also provide services for their employees and they want their employees to get screened. And so we brought the mammal van and we were able to get over 30 women screened, uh-huh. you know. And so those are the things that we can do and uh, we can bring them in for our next event. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. I'm specialist. Sí. Yeah, you're in El-